Hello and welcome to the Mega Retro channel. Uh, I've got Emma here videoing for me, so that makes life a lot easier. Today, we're off to a new, a new park, a fairly new park, which opened about two or three weeks ago. We're going to open it about three years ago, quite, quite a while before the pandemic, and uh, it just didn't happen. We did all the work uh, to to do it, and uh, I opened it for the Journey de Patrimoine, which is a yearly event. Uh, this is the corner I don't like because you can't see anything. I was going to video. It's priority I'd work as well. Nothing coming. Good. So yeah, back to the park. Uh, the Joy of the Patron one that I just mentioned was, uh, well it is, a yearly event that takes part in, I think, September. And all the museums and special events take place. They're all open, free. cyclists on the wrong side of the road. So yeah, so the park's not too far from home, so I've been once during the week and there was nobody there. So I guess at the weekends it must be quite full. But uh, you've got the park and then next to it you've got uh, some protected wetlands. And you can connect between the two, so that's pretty good. Whoa, more bikes! So we arrived, um, soon we have to stop because it seems we've got a lot of uh, bikes at the moment. The schools are sending their kids out on outings before the end of school term. So the park is that way. So we're parked away over there. Uh, we're near the park gates which are just, just down there behind my head. So we're very lucky really to have this park nearby because uh, I know we just waited ages for it and uh, we have another park in Mency but it's uh, about a mile or mile and a half away and this is a lot closer so there we go now the good thing about this park is that it's right next to the the wetlands and you've also got uh, a view of the rear of the local chateau and you sort of come in here and you've got loads of places to disappear off to. Like I just said to Emma, um, early in the morning you sometimes see a few deer, but not at this time. Uh, they're, they're probably hiding from us. So we've come in just here. And the other day I walked up here, and that's the limit of the, the park, so it's very narrow. Um, up here you've got the, the wetlands, so the Marais de Lisson it's called, Marais de Fontenay Vicomte, which is the village where we are. So this has been open for a number of years, um, probably about, I'm trying to think actually, probably about 15 years, something like that. And this was always closed, so in theory we can go from here and you've got the the chateau which is over here so we can walk from from there across to to the back of the chateau and it actually comes out the other end of the village just here you've got half of it is is forest and the other half is prairie land and they've actually put some animals in here and in the wetlands 
which is something you don't see locally. We need to decide which uh, path to use. And well, I took this one the other day that goes to the end of the park. So if we take this one, it's looking at the map, and then we take the first one on the right, and that will take us to the chateau normally. All right, off we go. Emma's got to get used to staying with me because I haven't got a cordless mic with me. So we're attached together by the mic cord. So what is this called? Allée Manche de Loin. And Manche de Loin is... Um, Loin Loin Okay, sorry. Loin <laughs> Yeah, well, my daughter speaks French better than I do. So, uh, so Manche de Loin is uh, a sort of, in French you say quartier. Suburbs a big word in English. I say just an area of our village here. It's just a housing estate basically. Oh look, there's a sort of monument thing over there. So we know Ali Manche de Loin, which is that way. It takes us back to the, the entrance. We've got a monument thing down here we're going to have a look at. And then we'll come back up and go down Allée de la... I can't see it. Can you see it, Emma? Privalé. Privalé. So Allée Privalé, which is over that way. And that's uh, down towards the chateau, I think. So we're going to go this way. Allée, there's still Allée Moche de Luan there. So I'm intrigued to see what this thing is down here. I thought I was seeing things from a distance. It looks like it's a sort of a, a monument of some sort. I mean, all of this is new to us because uh, obviously it's been the park has been here, but it hasn't been in this form. You know, all these paths have been put in, and they've had to redo it as well because. Now they put the paths in sort of five years ago, six years ago, and it didn't open, so they've had to redo all this, which seems to be a bit crazy really, I'm not sure why they ended up doing that, but uh, anyway, we're getting towards the, the monument, Let's walk a bit faster. So after a little fight with the, the DJI Osmo, we've got the camera so Emma can see what she's doing because before it was pointing the wrong way. So we've got a, a monument and well, I don't know what it's for. It looks nice, but we don't know what it's for. So there's no writing on it or anything. But it looks very nice. Part of the Patreon one, the Patreon meaning the traditional history of the region. So that's a French word, patrimoine. So Journée de Patrimoine is a celebration of French's culture and history. And in fact I used to typeset uh, a magazine uh, for the local Mary, for the Journée de Patrimoine here. The good times. So we're going to go head up that way and see if we can get towards the chateau. So we've got all around here, Emma's trying to hide, and um, we've got to walk all the way down there, so I'm going to film all that, it's a bit long. So that's Ali de Vigny, it doesn't go very far, it just goes down to what looks like a field. And we've still got all this to do. You can hear the train, the train just through the trees there, that's the uh, area de, which goes between uh, Paris and Malazurbe. Um, Malzerb is in the region where you've got Orléans, sorry? SNCF. It's the SNCF train line, what SNCF? So Allée des Douches, and I think this is the one that goes into the, into the wetlands, into the Marais. We'll have a look on the way back I think. And then this side it goes to a gate, so I'm suspecting that's part of the grounds of the chateau. So we can't be too far away from it. What do you think? No. So we've just come from there while Emma does some sport 
Ah, we've got the train coming by. Can we see it? No, we can't really see it very well. It's in the trees. So we just come from there, and then over here, we've got the prairie land. Le Pré, to sell en français. Uh, in French, Le Pré. And then we're heading over this way towards the chateau. Shut up, Emma. <laughs> Be quiet. Oh, she's not talking to me anymore. So, Les Prairies de Fontenay, un patrimoine unique en Valle de l'Esson, because we live in a sort of vale with the Esson River in the middle. The Esson goes between Corbeil, doesn't it? Corbeil Esson, which is sort of southeast of Paris. It actually comes from the Seine. I don't know where it goes after that, but it basically goes through our village, sort of southwest from Corbeil, Corbeil Esson, and then south through various other villages. And that's called the Val d'Esson. I say Val d'Esson, but I don't know why. But anyway, you've got all these lovely plants and fauna and God knows what. So we're very lucky because we live next to a protected area and we get to see lovely places like this prairie. Even if you've got a railway line going through the middle of it, you can just about see the, the poles because they're electric trains, so you got all that. So these are Emma's favourite thing. Slugs! Ou les limaces. Les limaces in French. And Emma loves them, don't you Emma? No. You love them? Oh, she's running away. That's all she's talking about at the moment is there's slugs everywhere. And this one's making a quick escape look. He's off. So here you've got uh, Rue de Lavoie. Rue de Lavoie. So a rue is uh, a brook in English. And this one, if we go this way, over here, Emma. Oh, stop with the slugs. So we look over here. There we go. So the water there is coming from uh, the village, from Fontenay-le-Comte, uh, over there, which is through those trees. And what's a lavoir, Emma, in English? Do you know what it is, a lavoir? Washing. 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 A lavoir is, I don't know what it is in English, actually, but it's basically a pool of water in the centre of the village. And you've got, like, a, a shelter over the top of it. Let's go and look at the water again. That's a lot calmer than looking at fields. We've got a shelter over the top of it with like um, rocks next to it. And it's where women used to go to wash the clothes in the centre of the village. So basically the water is coming from the village down towards the river. I thought it went the other way actually. So the village is over there. And the Esson, the river that I just mentioned, is, is over there behind those trees. So we've got the, the local... Nunu, which is the childminders, uh, en masse, taking the kids for a little, I won't say walks, they've got baby buggies, but anyway. So that's the, all the prairie, and the forest is starting to disappear. Over there you've got the Air Air D, which is the railway line into Paris. And there you've got Emma. I took the external mic off because you've got a lovely sound of crickets, grasshoppers, whatever you want to call them. And it makes me feel like I'm down in the south of France. A lovely, nice weeds. Well, that's a weed, isn't it? It's not a flower. I'll get told off about people who know about plants. But uh, yeah, so I hope you can hear the, the crickets. Let's think of the crickets, because that's what you've got in there the south of France, I think over here in the north. It's probably grasshoppers. You can't do grasshopper en anglais, Emma. Est-ce que tu sais? How do you say grasshopper in English? In English. What's a grasshopper in English? There's plenty of them, you can hear them. Eh? Grasshopper. What is it? <laughs> I get confused between the two languages. Like, I should have said, what's a, what's a sorterelle in English? Grasshopper. What's what? 
Like a sort of end. Oh, yeah, I see. And a grasshopper. There you go. You know, I'm getting old. Mixing all the words up. And then, what's the other one? The one we find in the south of France? Again. And what we say in English for that? Do you know? No. Oh, you don't know that one? Ah. That's a cricket. <laughs> like, like the, the sport. Like the sport. <laughs> yeah. You can't really see it, I don't think, but from here I can see the Isson, the River Isson. It's just between that gap in the trees. But well, I've got a zoom on this camera, so I can't really show you. But uh, yeah, it's lovely around here. I feel, oh look, there's a chateau. Ooh, chateau. Stop taking the mickey, Emma. <laughs> Do you want to come along and be the camera person in future? In fact, you're not being the camera person, I'm not holding the camera. So there you got the chateau. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, no zoom on this camera. So... I'm sort of filming towards the sun so I can't see what's on the screen but yeah that's where we are so that's the centre of the village Da train da train oh it's still far away isn't it eh we've just come from over there camera person filming over there so on the left from the chateau to the right to go back to the van or back to the entrance so down here normally that goes to the Marais which is the wetlands I told you about earlier. Marais de Fontenay. Don't forget you're attached to me by the cable, Emma. You won't see that very much because the, the light's behind it. I just wanted to just wanted to go down to the bridge. We're not gonna go into the into the Marais because uh are you, oh, you're pointing at me, are you? Yeah. Oh quality production yeah you're now pointing to my shoulder I think this is one of the first times Emma's used uh, the DJI Osmo so please forgive her for foaming my foot <laughs> so normally this goes underneath the railway line like I said we're not going to go to the underneath, uh, underneath yeah so we're not going to go to the to the wetlands, oh, that's another train. It's weird because I'm sure that these these trains used to be once an hour. I haven't taken the train for a long, long time, you know, to go into Paris and what have you, but now, now it's once every 10 it seems to be every 15 minutes or 10 minutes, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to go into the wetlands because to, to come back out, if we turn around and come this way. Oh, we've got a long walk all the way to the end and a, a long walk up the edge of this, this park that side of the park there and another long walk to go down this side of the... Ah, there's a map. That's useful. So I can show you on the map. We didn't plan that, by the way. So I'll just take the camera so I can show the ladies and gentlemen where we are. So we're here. There's the railway line. So we've gone along here, up here, mm. to the chateau, mm. which we couldn't really see, see much of because the sun's oh, in the yeah, wrong place. It was, it was somehow. Yeah. So we come back up here and we're here. So if we go, we we'll carry on, go under the bridge. The oh. problem is we have to go all the way along here, along here, all the way along here along here to, to come back to the entrance which is down there and it would help if I pointed the camera at my finger so yeah so around there and that so it's probably better we just go and see the bridge because I want to, I'm curious because I've never been that way before I don't know where it ends up and then we'll come back and go back to the entrance there we go there you are you can take over now Emma take over or Emma even we'll just rename you Emra would you like to be called Emra no. no would you like to be called pain in the bum no no okay oh and they've got a gate on the bridge as well 
so we can go on to the railway line Danger! Voiferé! Danger, railway line Well, you're not allowed to climb up there, are you? I mean, look Hey, eh? You'd have to be really desperate to want to throw yourself in front of a train Wouldn't you? Hey, eh? climb over the fence It's not, it's not, it's uh that's concrete. Oh. oh. And you've got nice stone walls. You see? And a gate. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to go up there. Why would you want to go up there? Why would you want to go up there? It's gone under the bridge. And now we're going towards the the wetlands a bit. So this is a bit that's familiar to to me because, uh, well, it's been open for 15 years or so. So I've been here quite a few times. And it's kind of strange. We're suddenly walking along a path where we couldn't go before because it was closed off. Ah, so it comes out there. I didn't realise it was so close to the bridge. Yeah, usually there's animals in these uh, this prairie, but there's nothing. There's nothing. Nothing there. Usually you've got sheep over that way there, and over here you've got usually you've got Aberdeen Angus cows, believe it or not. So, so basically behind me is a new bit over there. And if we go over here, you've got the path that goes, it goes parallel to the one we've just been along and comes out more or less at the same place, but on the other side of the railway line. And on this side, that's the one we don't want to take because otherwise we'll have to walk all the way around the outside of the park. So we'll do a demi, a demi tour, a U turn, and we'll go back down there. So we just happened upon this plan here, which shows the wetlands, Marais de Fontenay. Emma, can you just step back a bit, because you've got your head. Thank you. That's why I've put the, the selfie stick a bit higher, so that I don't get the shadow of me on there. So you've got the village down here. And then you've got uh, the park is where my shadowy finger is. It's there. So it shows you actually how big the wetlands are. And it's not just that, it, go, it carries on down the river, up north towards Cor Bay, and then south towards uh, Ballancourt, La Ferte Allée, Beris uh lots of villages you've probably never heard of, but it basically goes south. So there you go. Quite a big park and wetlands. Of course, you can't, you can't sort of go on all this bit there, it's all protected. You can just go around this, where this red line is, around the edge. But you've got hides, you've got two hides where you've got the little binocular symbol, if you can just about see it. And that's where you can see the, the marais from. So you can't actually go into them because they're, you know, they're protected and they don't like you tramping about all over protected wetlands. So there you go, the Parc Departemental de fontenay de vicomte which is near Mency and Ballancourt to the south of Paris so it's really worth going to so I told you earlier that uh, there were some cows and sheep in the actual protected area and that's the only time we tend to see animals around here farm animals that is because most of the crop around here is arable so there we've got I think uh, our sugar beet, better other. And that's your lot. Hope you've enjoyed the visit to the park with me and Emma. Um, it's not too far away from Paris, so if you're ever in Paris then you can take the A6 auto route towards Lyon and turn off at a place called Lys, 
uh, and head towards Mensi. I'm not sure if it's signposted posted from Mensi, but you've got the um, the wetlands that go towards Mensi as well. So if you if you go to Lees and then towards Mensi, you'll see some wetlands. Uh, if not, you can take the the train line, which is the RER RER D uh, line D from Gare de Lyon or Châtelet des Halles in Paris. And I think it takes probably about an hour or so to get down here. Um, I think there's yeah there's a bus from Mensi station. That's where either Mensi or Balancourt, probably Mensi because there's a bus there. Um, so you take the bus from from Mensi and uh, it does a little bit of a circuitous route, but eventually it ends up in uh, Fontenay, which is the terminus. So and you too can visit this park and also Park Villoir, which is in Mensi. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the park. If you're interested in transport photographs, cars, buses, etc., uh, I have a site with some of my photographs and some from my collection uh, that date from about the 1970s onwards. And you'll find those at uh, megabradvan.space. And in fact, you'll find videos uh, that you've got on YouTube there too, and plus a load of other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you again soon. Bye.